cast upon your ether! None shall stand against the wind! Bear witness to the glory of the Empire! Suffer, Garuda. Ancient Elig had ways of dealing with your kind. Now, look on their ultimate weapon, Icon, and despair. Magnificent. It exceeds all expectation. With each primal it consumes, it grows more powerful. A marvel, is it not? Such is the fate of those who oppose the Empire. There will be no warriors of light to save you this time. If your leaders are as wise as they are reported, they will surrender. Your skills are impressive. But they will not be enough. Twelve, have mercy! What chance have we against such an ungodly creation? And who was that armor devil? That was Gaius Van Balsar, Legatus of the 14th Imperial Legion, and Supreme Commander of the Garlean Invasion Force in Eorzea. Of course! The Black Wolf! How could I not realize? Grandfather mentions him in his journal. I was never so naive as to think the man would abandon his ambitions. But these developments are beyond my worst expectations. What have you been doing these past five years? How could something of this magnitude have escaped the Alliance's attention? We heard no whispers, saw no signs. In the wake of the Calamity, the Empire seized land and built outposts. But that was the extent of their aggression. Damn it, guys! Where in the Seven Hells did you find that thing? It has been a day of unexpected developments. But the fact remains, Garuda is no longer a threat. While I take no comfort in the manner of her downfall, it does mean that we may safely put the matter of the Primals to one side. For the time being, at least. Which just leaves the matter of Gaius's new toy. Indeed. That weapon poses the greatest threat to Eorzea. It must be destroyed. But first, we must needs find out all we can. Let us make for Vesper Bay. We shall rebuild the Scions. 
All is not yet lost, my friend. For we bear the light, and shall surely lead our people from the darkness. <laughs>